For this anatomy presentation, I'm going to discuss the rule of threes with the thoracic spine and also some anatomical landmarks and a little bit about the anatomy as well. So let's start with the rule of threes. Anatomically, this model is not exactly going to go to plan the way I describe it. And even if I use another model, yeah, anatomy-wise, again, it's not going to be exact. So just bear that in mind as I'm going to go through this. But there's a concept between the what we call the, uh, the sets of the thoracic spine, and we split it down into four individual sets. And T1, 2, and 3 is the first set, T4, 5, and 6 is the second, and so on. And it relates to the spinous processes and their relationship to their adjacent transverse process here. So the idea is that the first three thoracic vertebra, T1, 2 and T3, the spinous process is basically in line with the same transverse process. Okay, so T1, T2, T3, the SP is in line with the TP. Now, the second set, so we've got T4, T5, and T6. Now, the T4, 5, and 6, now, in theory, the T4, 5, and 6, when it comes across, it's going to be halfway between its TP and the one quarterly, the one below that. So it's halfway between. It doesn't quite look like that on here, but then that is what the set is supposed to be. Okay, so T4, 5, and 6 will be halfway between its TP and the one below. So that'll be T4, T5, and T6. Now the third set, so T7, T8, and T9, the, this, which makes more sense when you look at this model here, is now, so T7, uh, 8, and 9, it's going to be in line with the TP of the vertebra below. So the TP here is going to be in line, sorry, the SP here is going to be in line with the TP below, rather than halfway, okay? So that'll be for T7, T8, and T9. And then the fourth set, which means it's T10, 11, and 12. So T10 will be uh, in line with the TP below. T11 will be halfway between its TP and the one below. And then T12 will follow the same as T1, 2, and 3, as in it is in line with its own TP. I know it's quite confusing, but then that is what they call the rule of threes. If you notice on the spinous processes, they almost go more posteriorly, inferiorly. Yeah? You can see almost like the spines, almost like pine cones as they stick out on that sort of area in here. And then the TPs will naturally have the articulation for the ribs. So we've got 12 pairs of ribs coming in. And then where they articulate is called the demi facet. So where the rib, imagine this is a rib coming in. So this will be what we call the costo transverse junction. And then the rib will continue to attach onto the vertebral junction points as well. So it's called the costo vertebral junction. So we've almost got what they call two demi facets along here. On the posterior part here, we have got the area called the lamina along here. And then if I turn it over, this is the vertebral body. And then where the vertebral body comes out, they almost got like two arms sticking out. This is called the pedicles to then form the neural arch or the spinal canal where the spinal cord will sit in. And goes all the way down to around L1, L2. And then it ends as what we call the corda equina. These are the nerve roots that exit through the intervertebral forearm end. You can see that they come out here. So if this is T1, this will be the nerve root below. So this will be the exit and nerve root of T1. And when this is T12, this will be the nerve root of T12. The discs, there are 23 discs. And then these will separate the space in here. Okay. The outer covering of a disc is known as the annulus. And then the center portion is known as the nucleus. Ligament-wise, we have a long ligament coming up called the anterior longitudinal. And then posteriorly, which we cannot see, we'll have a long ligament called the posterior longitudinal ligament. We have a long ligaments overlying called the supraspine ligaments along here. And then we've got the deep ones called the interspinous as well along this sort of area. That's some of the anatomy of the thoracic spine. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the lesson 
and I hope I clarified the rule of threes, which is a little complex to understand. And bear in mind that a lot of the anatomical models will not follow yeah, the rule of threes as I've described. Thank you for watching.